Nandroid, 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 Nandroid. Oh. So in case you guys didn't know, I collect a lot of Nandroids. As you can see, like right here, there, right there. It's a lot of freaking Nandroids. And today I'm here to add more to the collection. Starting with this first Nandroid of someone from like a really indie band. I don't know if you've heard of them before. It's called BTS. <laughs> And it's Jin. Him being the last one that I bought from the group since I already bought JK and Jimmy, which I did in my previous haul right here. And just like the other two, I really like this Dendroids because of how cute it looks and how accurate the clothes look on him from their Dynamite music video. And yes, just like the other two, it does lack some accessories. And it could be better, but I still really like it because it looks really cute to me. And also like the other two, he also comes with a finger hard pose, which I really like. It's really my favorite pose that you can do with this Nendoroids because they look super cute with it. I really like that. Probably going to display him doing that with his mic. It was like singing with a finger hard. That's really cute. But what I don't like about this figure is that his face plates are kind of limited. One's just like smiling and other one's just smiling a little bit more. I really wish that they added more face plates or added even like more expressions to Jin because he does have a lot of facial expressions in real life. I gotta say like the Jungkook one is probably the best one out of the tree when it comes to face plates. It shows the most emotions, it shows like the most variety of emotions that he can do. But with Jin there's not a lot of emotions that you can display him as. You can really only put him in different poses, moving his arms and stuff, doing like their dances and stuff, but that's pretty much shit. You can't really like it's kind of like stagnant to me and it's only just like one emotion that he can show. But what I really about Nendroid is the way that you can pose them, make him do different things. So to me, that's what's lacking with this Nendroid. I mean, yes, you can make him do like a bunch of like poses and stuff that he does and like the dances that he can do. But to me, that's just not enough because with JK, like with Jimin, you can make them show like different types of emotions, different types of like feel to them, you know? But with Jim, it's kind of just, just the poses itself. Yeah, the poses are cute and stuff, but it's just not enough for me. But moving on from Jin, you got Jolene! <laughs> Jolene Kujo, Jojo Part 6. Probably the most dead out of all the shows so far, because that like, sucks. Bro, like, why can't you just drop it weekly? I mean, you already have some animes dropping weekly on your website. Why can't you drop JoJo's weekly too? Why do you have to do it in batches that are like months apart, six months apart, or like what from like the first part to the second part? I know it's dropping soon in December, but bro, it's really killing JoJo's. No one's talking about part six, even though it's really good. Part six is really good. It's just like no one talking about it because Netflix killed it. Oh, but Good Smile also killed this Nendroid. In a good way. In a really good way. They killed it, bro. They, they absolutely nailed Jolene. I love the poses and everything that she comes with. Except the rat. I hate the rat. I'm not gonna show you guys the rat except for that picture. Just because I hate freaking rats. But Jolene, right? Jolene! Jolene comes with three faceplates, which I really like. One where she's just like her poker face, like all Nendoroids come with. And with that, you can do her JoJo pose, where she's kind of like... Shh. I mean, shh. You know, you know. Here, here, it's this, this. I'm showing to you right now. This JoJo pose. But what I really like about Jolene is her hair. I never noticed it in the anime, but like her, uh, what's it called? Her like, her, her ponytail, like her hair, it's shaped like a heart. I never knew that. I, will, I only found out about that through the Nendoroid because like, that's you to me and it's super cool. That's such a good detail. I really like that. I really like how she looks. And like you can flap her hair around like her ponytail. You can move it around like this. I really like that. That's super cute. It's like quality of life changes for this freaking Nendoroid. Because freaking Nendoroids are already hard enough to pose. And sometimes their hairs get in the way. I really love that you can move Jolene's. And it adds more dynamic to like her poses too. Where like it kind of feels like there's air flowing around. And like she has movement because you can move her hair around. 10 out, 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, and unlike Jin too, she has so many accessories and like different poses. I mean, her arms and her legs are already articulated, so you can like move them around easier and you don't really have to switch different body parts. I also really like what Good Smile's doing with that. 
it makes the posing way easier too because you don't really have to substitute like different poses and all that stuff all the time you can just move it around great right, super sick i love that should start doing that with like most androids too but anyway jolene can make her do something like this where she's using her powers with like the arm facing forward and like her hands are going down doing out like sipping out the sipping out the weird stand thing with here it kind of just looks like she has really long fingernails she also comes with accessory where she's handcuffed that's so nice i don't know what about that i really like but i really like that oh uh, if you guys didn't know stone ocean takes place in a prison that's why she's in handcuffs she also comes with a different pose where she can use her stand again where she's pointing forward that's usually what she does the most in the show, so I really like that they're able to like depict that really well, and it translates really well into a nendoroid form. Bro, these JoJo nendoroids are so good. One of the best lines in all of nendoroid history, in my opinion. Definitely not biased over JoJo's or anything like that. Definitely not. This is a really good, really good line. Trust me. Sticking with the JoJo team and sticking with like the best character from their show, we got Mista! I finally got my boy Mista after a long time. Pulled the trigger on the resale market despite it being high. Kind of ashamed of what I paid for him, but I had to. I freaking love Mista. And it doesn't look like he's getting a real release anytime soon. It's probably gonna be like next year or two years from now. So I had to buy him. Now I have Pashon Boys complete. But just like the character, I really love this Nendroid. Definitely not biased or anything because he comes with his stand. That's like super rare. It's so rare for Jojo Nendroids to come with their stands. But I do get why Mista comes with his because, I mean, his stands are just like bullets. You can really include that. If they did it, I would have been really disappointed. But how they included him, so sick. I really love it. He has his gun accessory where he's kind of like shooting off one of the bullets, one of his stands, and he has like this acrylic plate in the back where it shows the rest of them. Couldn't ask for anything better, honestly. But I do want to ask for like their stands, like other stands, like Star Platinum. So what are you? And like the other freaking stands. I would really love to see that in Android form. Well, that's like another 50 bucks. So maybe hold on to that. Hold on to that idea, good smile. Don't do it yet, don't do it yet. And like any other JoJo Nendroids, Mista is articulated. So you don't really have to switch out the limbs and you can make him do a bunch of different poses. Make him do like a bunch of like funny poses that you can do with him. What I'm planning to do in the future is make Narancia, to make Narancia and him do the torture dance. That'd be really sick. But now that I think about it, I'm gonna need Fugo for that. So I'm probably not gonna do that. Instead, we have these poses for Mista. First one's gonna be like his pose in the show where he's just pointing his gun and he's holding on to his like chest thing. I really love this wearing a crop top. That's such a fire look. Honestly, Mista has the best drip in all of JoJo's. I really wanna get it shaped so I can wear a crop top too. But Mista also has three face plates. He has this really like mad one. He's kind of like screaming. He's in like fighting mode. So I think I'm gonna have him display the stat with like the guns out too. I mean, not the guns out, but like the gun out. And the default Android face play where you're doing a poker face. It's also really nice and Mista. Really translate well because of his eyelashes and his eyes. So it doesn't really look that boring. Then there's also one where he's smiling, which I really like. Because like I said, you can really show like different types of emotions with these Nendroids and all of their poses and stuff. You can really like show how they're feeling with their poses. And I really like that about Nendoroids, which is mainly why I collect most of them. Because you can put them in different poses. I really like that. And also, Mista has like one pose where he's holding some of his bullets, which is also his stand. But the details on it, uh, it's not really much. They kind of just look like bullets, but I'll still take it. Because like, who's really going to look that deep into the details of an Android anyway? Next Nendoroid. He flew high. Q. I don't, okay, I don't know if that was worth it because I kind of messed up the box. Crap. But he flew high. Q. So I got Kenma in his second version. I'm honestly kind of disappointed and I only pre ordered this because my pre order for the re release one, like the first edition one, got cancelled. And I really wanted a Kenma in my collection. But at that time, my pre-order got canceled because I got sort of like too many orders and mine got canceled. 
but now he's like seemingly everywhere and like everyone's selling one for cheap but I already bought this, so yeah, regrets. Cause I honestly don't even want like the second version. I only got like the Kage Island and another one because it's like brighter and more vibrant. But here they're just wearing white instead of the red. And I have them displayed with Kuro wearing the first version of their uniform. Now he looks like a libero, cause like he's wearing a different color uniform. But it kind of just pisses me off from a collecting standpoint. It's not really like Uniform, I mean like no pun intended, but yeah, they're not uniformed. Piss me off. But the figure looks great. It's a me problem, I'm the problem. Kenma has more faceplate showing more emotion than Jin. Whereas like Kenma is not really all that expressive in the show and Jin is in real life. Like I said, he has a lot of expressions. And one of them is like this one where he's super cute, like closing his eyes. Where here he's petting the cat, looking at his phone, watching a video. That's such a Kenma thing to do. Bro, I'm talking as if I know the character in real life, but like, I like the show, okay? I really like the show. But yeah, that's such a Kenma thing to do. It's cringe to say, but it is what it is. I'm cringe. And you can also use the same face blade for when he's eating the cake or the pie that he's holding. Thank God it was like so easy to put on like the blade to his hand. That was so easy to connect and it's not really falling off. Thank God. Because like posing Nindroids with our accessories are such a pain, bro. They're such a pain. But this one wasn't really that much of a pain. This one was okay. And like the form fit in really well too. And it's not going to fall off. He also comes with the default face blade, which looks really okay. He kind of looks sad with it, but that's fair. That's like Kenma's face in the anime too, so... Yeah. I really like the pose where he's going like, man. Eh. I really like the pose where he has his arms raised. It's kind of like, well, man, not my fault. What are you doing with that faceplate? That's because it's so funny to me. He also has a really mad one. So in theory, you're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? You can make him do that pose, but I didn't. But instead, I got him serving the ball when he's mad and stuff, which he doesn't really do a lot in the game. And honestly, I'm thinking back what I said about the JoJo and Androids being the best Android line because the Haikyuu Androids killed it all the time. There hasn't been like a miss for a single Android because they all come with like so many accessories and it's like, and the Haikyuu line's like the cheapest Android line as well. But they come with the most accessories. Insane, absolutely insane. And each one of the Haikyuu Androids come with a ball, like a volleyball. But like, there's only like one ball when you play the game. Super sick that you get the like makes them pose bro i'm losing it with how fucking sick this is like you can make them pose like all the pose with like the volleyball and like do their stances and stuff like it's amazing but i do wish though that they all came with a net but i guess can't have everything that we want but i did get this and i did want this it's from super cute show it's like senpai something you're annoying i forgot what it's called the show was so cute and so wholesome it's not annoying at all if you guys like the cute romance where like they're really just progressing there's really no end in sight that type of anime i would really recommend this because it's super cute and the characters are really likable as well even like the background characters they're really cute too like the relationship that they build if you guys like motokoi you should check this out and like with a show, I would also really recommend getting this Nendoroid because bro, Futaba is super cute and she comes with so many accessories too. I love getting so many accessories with Nendoroids. I just hate posing them in it or like with it. It's so annoying, especially with this one. Making her hold this bear that she's holding. I can't even do the one in the picture where like the bear's kind of straight. My bear's like crooked because it's so hard to pose to make it straight. Like, how is it even possible? But it's so worth it because she's so cute with it. But I like, I didn't even display her with that. But like the pose that I ended up posing her in is like where she has this like super mad face blade right here. And she's holding the cola can because she's kind of like being a chundere to her senpai. Oh yeah, she's a chundere by the way. I love my chunderes. I really love chunderes. They're like the best type of girl in that. I mean, I know it's super basic and like every chundere, like every show has a chundere, but the chundere's always get me, no matter how basic they are. But there's an even like angrier faceplate, which is like absolutely super cute. Just you know chundere's gotta get mad, bro. They gotta get like super mad and comes with levels. This is like the super saiyan level of mad she's in. You know what I'm talking about? Where her eyes are like 
pure bloodshot white, no pupil in sight type of mad, bro. That type of mad. And like all great tunderays, they have their dere side, which is actually her default faceplate. And like all tunderays too, she has a fang, bro. I know it's stropy as hell, but give this anime a shot. I'm, I swear to God, I'm not being sarcastic with all the praises that I'm giving, like all the tunderay tropes that I've said. Those aren't shots to the anime. It's because like how they executed that, it's all super cute. And the balance for the Dere and the Chun. It's actually pretty okay. But what you can do with her too is like you can make her wear her scarf with like the second level of mad faceplate. It makes it look super sick. And the show, it got to the point where it's at that time of the year where it got cold. So she got to wear a scarf. And they included it in the Nendoroid too, which is like super cute. But like the one thing I didn't like about this Nendoroid though is how they included her Senpai. Because it's kind of just like clear acrylic plastic thing that you put on a stand and that's pretty much it so that like cancels out all the possibility of her senpai getting his own android so i guess that saves me a little bit of money so i don't have to buy her like senpai anymore in android form and the final android for this haul is gotta be oikawa he's my best haiku boy wait no it's nishinoya no it's tanaka okay so yeah he's my best non karasin boy oikawa so yeah, I picked him up in his school uniform. The only one I have so far, that's definitely because like the aftermarket price for like the uniform, like versions of the IQ boy shot up, like way, way up. It's kind of like Dogecoin. I'm just waiting for it to all go down because this one went down when the pre-order got released. You guys can see like right here. You see that? Like way up here, like up here. It's all IQ. I have a freaking high Q problem. It's not stopping either. I have more pre-ordered. God. Tune the brain. No, I'm kidding. But like super cool. I really like the pose that he can do where he's gonna like doing the double peace sign. It's kind of like that kid. Is that the kid do this or this? I forgot, but but yeah, Oikawa does this with like one eye winking. I think that's his default faceplate, which I think is really super neat. And that's fine, because like it's not really like the main Nendroid that you're gonna get. You're of course you're gonna get the one where he's playing volleyball. So this is kind of just like a side Nendroid, which is why you can get a little more creative and you're a little more like expressive with his faceplates. He doesn't really need a default, default faceplate. Which I really like. Good smile, good job. And like all Haikyuu Nendroids, he has food with him. Holding cake again, I really like that because like, and I usually post my hiking androids with them, like eating the food that they come with as accessories. I really like that. And Oikawa, like, an android comes with a special stand. It doesn't come with like the volleyball cord stand that they usually come with because it is a uniform version. It just comes with like a circular one and it's a ball. Gotta say though, their uniform doesn't really look like a uniform, bro. How are they like so dripped out with like the vest and like the plaid type of pants, bro? And, like like the jacket too, bro. They're so dripped out in Oikawa school. It's probably why it's so extra. And sticking with Oikawa fashion, he also has this post where he's sticking his tongue out to Kageyama, of course. And super sick is like you can have him like kind of pulling his eye down where he's not really. So it's kind of like he's pointing at his eye and have his tongue out. And I have him here side by side with his actual first version. And like, goddamn, my first version, like the hair already faded that much, bro. Like look at the difference, bro. It's like noontime and like sunset. Cause it's not night and day. It's like the difference isn't that much. So it's just like noon and sunset. But like, it's a huge difference when you have them side by side. Like one's definitely more vibrant. And like, actually they changed his hair sculpt. I thought they were just gonna reuse the hair sculpt, but they kind of changed it up a little bit. That's gonna be it for today's video. Yeah, I forgot to film like an outro, so I'm doing this on my phone right now. Peace guys. Thanks for watching, bye.